The UN has put out dozens of public documents where they're calling for an 80% world population reduction. In fact, at the Beijing Women's Conference, the World Conference, back in 1997, the head of the UN food program said, we will use food as a weapon against the people. Sixty-six percent of the United States residents public water is fluoridated. It is known to have tremendous effects on bone cancer, joint problems, bone weakness, lowered estrogen and testosterone levels, and dental fluorosis, which is yellowing of the teeth and pitting in the enamel. Wouldn't it make more sense to enhance public water with vitamins which are meant to be ingested to promote overall health? Rather than putting such a toxic chemical in our water with a bogus explanation that it will improve our dental health. We now know that fluoride causes more dental problems than it solves. Something doesn't seem right about this. Do you honestly believe that these companies care deeply enough for the people to spend large amounts of their own money to fluoridate public water when the people already purchase their own toothpaste? But there's a difference between toothpaste and drinking water. We don't ingest toothpaste. If you go to any hardware store and look at any rat poison product, you will only find one ingredient sodium fluoride. It is the most toxic ionic molecule outside of potassium dichromate. Now Danon along with other companies have begun fluoridating bottled water. It is becoming increasingly difficult to get away from. And the fact that fluoride is also used in many prescription antidepressants shows that it eliminates aggression and motivation in people. Fluoride, to my knowledge as a physician, has absolutely no biological benefit whatsoever. Uh, 